Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I've got my rainbow colours out, really inspired by rainbows and colours and bright, bright, happy, fun colours. Um, I did recently um, a, oh, in fact, let me show you because it's hanging up here, um, a Dutch pour explosive flower. And I was really happy because I managed to get the white around the edge so it looked like a flower. So I want to do something like this, very, very similar, but um, with rainbow colours. So I'm imagining a kind of rainbow around the edge and then um, a nice bright flower in the centre. Um, not sure it will, if it will work, if it will turn out right, but I'm gonna try. So let me show you the colours I'm using. I'm using a 40 by 50 centimetre canvas. The base colour I'm going to use is pearl white. So I'm just hoping you can see the consistency of this. So all my paints are mixed with flood fluoratrol and water. I'll put the recipe that I use in the description of the video. So if you hit the title of the video and underneath you should get some information come up, which includes the recipe. But you can see it's just very runny, very fluid. So I'm going to use pearl white. So I've not used pearl white before in, on a base for one of these, these pieces. Um, so hopefully it will just add just a little bit of extra shimmer and interest. So I'm going to blow that out with my hairdryer. So I'm going to have a flower in the centre. I want to use some of the colours I'm going to use for the outside, um, but I'm also going to use this one. Um, it's Amsterdam Caput Morton Violet, and I'm not using this in my rainbow. So I thought it'd be quite nice to have the definition of the flower in a colour that I'm not actually using around the edge. Um, and I wanted quite a dark colour. The flower will be quite small, so I'm just going to freehand try and draw a five petal flower okay something like that um, I like to do it freehand because I like it to look uneven I don't want it to look you can't make it look perfect um, with fluid art um, so I I'm quite happy having slightly larger slightly smaller smaller flowers uh, petals so I now want to pick some of the colors I'm going to use in the flower uh, sorry in the rain before the flower so I'm just thinking I might use a bit of pink I don't want it to look too pink or girly though so I'm then going to add I think I might go for a little bit of the iridescent blue green because I want it to look like a rainbow as well within the flower but obviously I can't use every colour because it will just muddy and I'm going to really brighten things up, I think, with just a little bit of yellow. Okay. I'm feeling like green is missing. Although you don't get green in flowers, you do in my world. There we go. So I think I'm happy with that. It's nice and bright and colourful. I'm just going to go for a tiny bit more of the violet, I think, around the edge. Right, so now let's put the rainbow. I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. I haven't thought this far ahead. But the rainbow around the edge. I think I'm just going to just not everywhere just a few bits of each colour um, I'm not going to come near the centre just thought this is just on the ed edges Oh, 
Right, I'm actually going to add a bit of the Caput Morton Violet because I feel like it actually stands out a bit too much, that colour. So I'm just going to add just a little bit just to actually help it blend with the edge. Right, that looks a bit funny, a bit of a mess at the moment. But what I'm going to do now is use my hairdryer to blow the paint out from the centre so that everything will now get kind of mixed together, muddied and blended. Right, wish me luck. Right, it hasn't worked at all, but I still like the result. So my flower has got lost. You, you can kind of see it, but it's it's lost. I think so either my flower was too big or my border was too small because the white, it, it, it's just totally disappeared. However, I really quite like it. There's some really pretty cells coming up. The green is popping up. Let's have a torch, give it a torch. Right, I've changed my mind. I don't like it. <laughs> There's bits of it I love. I love this outside, but that dark purple that I tried to create the edge of the flower with, it's, it just looks weird how you have this splodges of it in the, in the middle. I love the concept, I love the outside, I love the centre, it's just this dark purple ring. It doesn't look like a flower at all, which is fine, but it just looks a bit odd. If it blended better, I would be over the moon right now, but it hasn't. So, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to treat this now as a base, and I think I'm going to go again. I'm just not happy. Right, that is a lot of paint. I really hope I'm not wasting all of this. Right, let's, let's go again. I love it. I love it. It's quite muted because of the white coming through and quite pastely, but it's even. There's a big white splodge there I'm not as happy with, but I just think like, you can't you can't get every single spot of every painting perfect. I'm much happier. Right, it's changing. Cells are now coming through. 
there was so much paint on there. I had to really blow down quite hard, quite firmly down to try and actually shift the paint. So it's getting brighter because the cells are coming through. Right, I think I'm going to leave it. This white bit's bothering me, but actually, if you look up, there's other white bits as well. Unless I try and smudge a little bit of blue through, like it's over there. Right, I'm really happy. I've just added a few darker blue lines. And then if you just blow on them, it just, um, it kind of helps them to spread out a little bit and so they're not quite as defined. So although it took me two attempts and it's not what I wanted, there's no flower here, um, I'm really, really happy. Um, it's it's muddied a little bit, but that's created this really pretty sort of purpley colour. Um, the details are gorgeous. I think if I wanted less muddying, I should have put less lines of each colour down, but maybe thicker lines. Um, so actually, I'm I'm really happy. There's a little bit of the blue that I added. Um, I just quite like the little few little dark lines of that dark blue. I just think it balances it really nicely. Um, the centre I love. I love how you get these lines in the centre. And you can see where I've torched quite a bit because you've got all the little bubbly effects there, which I think is, looks really pretty. There's quite a few cells popping up. The iridescent green-yellow is producing cells, um, as is the iridescent orange. And the here, the iridescent um, red-blue. So what a, what a jumble of colours. It really does look a bit like a kaleidoscope. Um, but yeah, happy. Second attempt, but happy. Right, I'll be back when it's dry. So it's now dry. It's definitely a kaleidoscope. It just, it obviously starts in the centre and it just, it's like it spins out from the sides. Um, one thing I hadn't anticipated was how pretty the pearl white would be in the centre. So it was pearl white in the centre here and then that normal white up towards the edges. So you've got this really bright white here, but then you've got this really beautiful iridescent. So if I show you, if I tilt it, can you just see how shimmery it is and how, how sparkly it is there? So I just, I hadn't totally um, appreciated actually the effect that pearl white would give in that, that sort of central band. Um, the colors are crazy, the, I'm just so many colors. Um, so close up against each other. It's just, um, it's a bit, a bit of an overload really of um, colour and pattern and details. Um, I do like it. I might use this as a base for something. Um, not quite sure what yet. Maybe some sort of stencil, um, some black silhouette on it. I, I really don't know yet. Um, so I'm not, I'm not sure I would hang it on my wall as it is. Um, but so it so I'm not sure I'm going to put it aside if anyone wants it they're very welcome for, uh, to have it um, but otherwise I'm just going to keep it by me and I think I will be inspired at some point to do something else with it um, let me know what you think if you have any ideas that I can that, that I can um, use um, let me know if you've got any ideas of what you think will work well on this canvas let me know um, yeah just leave me any comments any thoughts you have great thank you so much for watching Please do give it a thumbs up if you like it. Great, take care. Bye.